us, so that's okay. Yeah. We've accepted our our fate. Our, our sad fate. fate. <laughs> Not the rock. <laughs> um, so while Lauren is getting the Facebook stream ready, um, we are here with uh, David Serrano Lozano. Um, so thank, thank you very much for being here, David. Um, thank you for dealing with us. Thank you for dealing with us <laughs> and, and, our, and our technological antics. Um, can you briefly introduce yourself and, and tell us about you and your research and, and your interest in, in, in games and antiquity? Okay, briefly will be the word, but yeah, <laughs> everyone, thank you so much for inviting me here and for enjoying the pleasure of witnessing you dealing with technology. Um, <laughs> David, David, as you prefer, both. Maybe oh, yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's a pretty wall ish. So, um, I basically a PhD applicant, almost there, uh, studying ancient epigraphy. We exist and we are not many. And <laughs> apparently, Alex thought it was a good idea to bring me here because, apart from reading strange things in stones, I, I really love to play video games. And especially this one that we were talking about some months ago about. So, um, here we are. Let's enjoy watching Kate driving and sailing, and let's talk about translating text. <laughs> <Thank you. Yeah. laughs> crashing, crashing things. Um, okay, you guys, I'm officially ready now. So again, thank you all for joining us for our second um, playthrough. Well, as we're playing through Heaven's Vault, definitely go check out the recording of the first one. We had Dr. Monica Hanna on, who is the inspiration for the main character of this game. So we're very excited about that. So go and check that out. It's saved on our Twitch page right now and will eventually be up on YouTube as well. There is a portion of the stream on Facebook, but it got cut off. So watch the whole thing on Twitch. Anyways, what is SASA? SASA stands for Save Ancient Studies Alliance. It's our mission to reverse the current downward trend in the study of the ancient world by engaging the public and bringing together students and scholars to share their passion for the study of the ancient world in order to inspire a vast new generation of students. So, as you know, we do this by doing lots of kinds of live streams, including Archeo Gaming and Archeo Gaming Learning Modules, which Kate and Alex both have done one so they can talk, and Brianna. <laughs> um, so they can talk about that a little more. Um, and then we do research on the downward trend. We have an open access database and a lot of other cool resources and things that you can find on our website. Um, other than that, you can find us on basically every social media platform, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Discord, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere. <laughs> we are um, everywhere. You of, cannot escape us. Like, we're about to make a TikTok too. <laughs> and actually the, the profile is made up. We made profiles on everything so that we would have the name. And then we just like started oh, using certain things. So smart. we're literally, we have like a Pinterest page <laughs> and <laughs> like everything. Yeah. I think we, there's potentially a Reddit out there. Reddit. If anyone wants to lead SASA's Reddit reliably, <laughs> oh my God. contact us. I, will, I refuse to do it. <laughs> Um, but anyways, as usual, please be kind and respectful during the event. Um, you guys are always nice and active in the chat. So thank you. We love that. Um, always be patient with technology and those administering it. The recordings are saved on Twitch and will eventually be put over to YouTube too. And they're on Facebook and there are definitely spoiler alerts going on throughout everything we do all the time. <laughs> um, and last but not least, if you like what you see from SASA, please consider becoming a monthly donor, really any donation helps you can also subscribe directly on twitch and through um amazon prime through twitch um so there's a few different ways you can do it uh basically everyone that works with sasa is volunteers but we still have to pay for a lot of background costs and stuff like that so our streams will only get better <laughs> uh, so thank you guys and with that i will hand it back over to the crew Thank you, Lauren, um, and thank you everyone for trickling in, for notwithstanding the weird hour at which we are streaming. Um, and thank you to our guests. Uh, thank you for being here, for uh, agreeing to do this thing and uh, witness my absolutely abysmal ability to, <laughs> to interpret writing <laughs> that is not <laughs> that is not in you know in one of the few um, alphabets I know. So let's see. First of all, let's see yeah. where we were yeah oh yeah, right right we? right right and... so we were on this planet and investigating the sh the shipwreck 
and we have our robot exactly. right behind us. Exactly. Uh, 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 all right. And also, <clears throat> last time, I think, I think, there was something else to look at in the ruins. Um, we found the ritual, um, idol construction, whatever that was, with the little figurine inside. But I don't know if we finished that area, so um, I'm going to try and go back and see if there's anything else in the in the house or around the house that we can check no way one thing I, well, one of the things i really like about this game is the art style like mm -hmm. it it's it's looks i mean basically like like it looks unique like the way you move through the world like that, that, that there's this mix of I mean, 3D cartoonish, like 2D and, and stuff like that. It's all in there <laughs> in, 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 to a certain extent. And and I think that is one of the interesting things. But here, like the epigraphy thing, that is what, what I like the most about this game. Me too, yeah. Right. Because we're always... Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. It's just the thing. Just that it really reminds me of the real epigraphic thing, especially when you study Roman epigraphy, because it's written everywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. every single corner has something hard to see very true very true yeah. oh look we have we have a fucking inscription um yes <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon um so, uh, uh, oh. we have to find the relate through the related words we have to find the meaning of the new words i i already already regret everything um also i see <laughs> i see daniela in the chat hello and i see um the tester yeah wow. <laughs> also in the chat that's fantastic yeah, thank you for being here yeah exactly thank you um all right so while well, light is so, is okay and then this one we have light is okay there are the parts of follow but i don't know yeah. if follow is right um, um <clears throat> maybe from like from know. yeah because it's maybe yeah. it's it's like in a direction or something like follow and from they both exactly like uh, from in, and uh, and then uh, the uh, other the one cool that there is always a relationship between the places written and the content so maybe you can use it like like oh yeah um, when we're being a door yeah um, yeah yeah i know i know i need to stay calm like and i haven't even started driving <laughs> yet imagine i'm drinking calming tea imagine that <laughs> don't drink and drive kate it's tea it's not that tea. it's the, the right time it's the right kind of tea um so if so... if Home is correct, yeah. but I don't know if home is correct. I mean, it... I mean, it's related to. Oh yeah, we don't know if home is actually the one that is. Set. Oh yeah, the, right. the, the, the question mark. Yeah, that's right. true. Um, could be birth, could be time. Could... I mean, he, here would be like is the one that I think most closely resembles home. Like it's a, a location. Right. Like think. Yeah, but, mm. and light from birth, light from night, light from time. Yeah, birth we could make sense, but I think it's because it's the location mm. here, mm. maybe. I think it would be here. Yeah. Okay, okay, sure. That's exactly the very scientific way of epigraphy, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Some kind of blessing. Yeah. We are guessing. Yeah, I mean. Nice all right, but also, yeah, I also was thinking that those circles looked astronomical. Yeah, like as uh, in the chat, like it's because clicking here on maps. Right. Uh, like, like circle, uh, circling here on maps. Like, like Can here. I pick up the axe? Oh, come on, let me pick up the I want to axe things. Like, oh, <laughs> not that kind of game. Well, okay, so there are several axes and I can't pick. I can pick any of them up. This is this is a hate crime. I want to destroy things. <laughs> I'm very so disappointed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, I want to. <laughs> this is like... I've, been, I've been playing the new God of War recently, like the 2018 one, and the fact that your axe always returns is like so gratifying. <laughs> I love that. Uh... But, uh, so in the chat, so bear in mind that you might not have a word, anything like what you need to translate, so might have Fair. to look again later when your vocabulary has increased, which I think Ooh. basically resembles i mean scholarship like like you, yeah. you have an idea of, of thing you voice an argument or, or create an argument about around something and then um later you reflect on what you 
thought and or, or wrote or something like that. So it's like that same like uh, process of recognition, I, mm -hmm. I would say. Really, that makes it very cool that you can get back to the university and check the material, although it's yeah. just the yeah. sure. action part of the game. But yeah, it's it's quite realistic that way. Mm -hmm. I must say that the first time I played this, I decided quite consciously not to get back to university, especially not to visit my supervisor. Solid projection. But um, it's interesting <laughs> because you can literally finish the whole game and get to the big ending just without stepping again on the university. Just Ooh, yeah. wink for everyone. Yes, we found the weapon. Yes, this is the content. Yes, violence. Nice. Sorry. Um, Speaking I... of violence, <laughs> like, uh, what is also interesting about this game is that it's a non-violent game, and uh, okay, I guess. I mean, I mean, it is. I mean, because we've in previous open streams, the door, we, open the door, about kick down the door. Like the main language of of. I mean, ancient cultures in games is violence. But then you have games like this, or The Forgotten City, for example, from mm -hmm. last year, where violence is a shoot, like there's no violence at all. And I believe uh, D David has written a, a book chapter on violence in games, so I don't know what your thoughts on <laughs> <laughs> on, on this game in terms of that respect there. I'm looking at, like, all the lintels now. Okay. You have the bigger problem. And uh, yeah, actually, I think that the violence thing here is quite interesting because I think Kate is reflecting the, the feeling of many players. I must confess mm. sometimes, even me, that a lot of people sometimes is not missing maybe violence, but some kind of action here. Mm -hmm. I must say that this game is great resembling in researching. Actually, there is yeah. a lot of very good pricing on, on how it well it reflects that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that they tried to load all the weight on that and the, the narrativistic cycle, the action, so to speak, is a little bit um, obscure because of that. I'm trying to be polite here. I don't want to say any more like boring because it's not. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's not. But uh, it is true that here the absence of that action, the violence, I mean, actually violence doesn't, doesn't have a place here, but that mm -hmm. sense of lack of action when you are you know, sailing, as Kate loves, or when you are sometimes speaking, the conversations seem to be a little bit anticlimactic sometimes. So I will have bet for 10% more of that here. I don't <laughs> see how violence could have been fitting here if you don't want to make an Indiana Jones thing. Right, oh, yeah. that's fair, that's mm -hmm. fair. Although there's like talk of like social violence because slavery. Yeah. yeah. By the way, no, Kate, <laughs> apparently you've missed a door in, in, in the house. I've missed a door? <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean I've missed the door? Oh my god. It's in the chat. <gasps> Gasp. Okay, one second. One second. Okay. No, but it is true, like, as David said, that, like, games like these, or perhaps The Forgotten City, like, they sort of make you realize how normalized violence is in games, I think. Like, because of the fact that it's, I mean, not, I mean, not at all here, and then you, you see these acts, but you can't. Pick it, pick it up, or this, it's not a way of interacting with the game space. Like, it's a way of, um, I mean, uh, what do you say, like self reflection <laughs> or, or like <laughs> self realization that, oh, every, every time I play games, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm killing people. Okay. So, this is not C. It's not. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not C. So, a window shutter. Oh wait, because this this has to be waters, right? So the the little apostrophe to the left is of, so it's the um, the the genitive, okay? Um, uh, uh, protect, defend, welcome. Uh, I don't know. There were weapons. Maybe protect. I would say protect. I'm that kind of person. I can't have ever been much light here. Well, okay. Huh. Hmm. No, we're not informing anyone. We're we're looking at other things. Okay. Let's see. I want to make sure that I I haven't like lost. Oh, there we go. There's another inscription. Yeah. So apparently you missed the door, and you should. Oh, <laughs> another look one. Of another door. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, that it is. <laughs> yes. There it is. I'm very happy. With an eagle and the sun on the hilt. Oh, Ooh. okay. So this is That's an imperial cool weapon. Excellent. Oh, this yeah. is okay. 
Okay, so there's a plural. Clearly. Mm. S. Yes, of course I've done something wrong. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, duh. Yeah, we are watching this a couple seconds later, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah, no, uh... <laughs> Empresses. Okay. Doesn't feel right, but how? Okay, so we got fire with the two zaps. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um. Hmm. I see the glyph from Emperor, but this may be empires. Yeah. Right? Probably. Name for a dagger, actually. Right. Good. It could be. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because it also had the, the apostrophe, like, for the... If, yeah, for the genitive. Exactly. Thank you, Latin. <laughs> 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 yeah. Who said studying Latin was useless? <laughs> exactly. Pots and pans. You know, we're playing video games and we're using Latin. Exactly. Any glyphs? Any... Storage plane Is this an inscription? Nope, this is broken stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the um, to the shipwreck. If I can figure out how to get out of the house again. Where's the door that you missed? Did, did you find it already? No? Or I think that was the door that I had missed. Oh, that was it? Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm disorientated. Right. <laughs> let's go let's go back to the ship. Yeah, we also found like the um the telescope that was fixed. Okay still more to do okay. listen okay 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 let's see what else we can find here so as someone who studies epigraphy how do you judge like how do you feel about the way in which this game incorporates um, like the deciphering of inscriptions uh, david I think it's very skillful. I mean, it, I, I reckon it's not the the easiest thing to incorporate to in something so mm -hmm. dynamic as a video game because I mean, you can face many things, but not precisely quick. But um, I think they are quite skillful because it is not just a game of uh, take this code and try to crack it. Actually, mm -hmm. that works very well if you're a geek on that. I don't know if you have played something called Scythian. That's really hard stuff for people who like to crack language. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Only if you are very much into it, because there is literally only that. But um... <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you can, you put that in the chat. I'm interested yeah, to actually, see that. The name is this Wait, one. Um, when I was playing it, I, I I couldn't help thinking that Scythian is basically. Have you watched the Arrival? But this is yes. just the yeah, 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 yeah. funny part of it. The, the part of the cover, the code in the language. No aliens or so on. <laughs> so mm. that's Scythian for you. I think it's in in Steam, but I'm not sure. Yeah, right. it's on Steam. It's from. 2018. Oh wow, that does look, uh, how to say, like much more uh, uh, abstract. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, if you like cracking on the coding, is your game. But of course, mm -hmm. there is no action here. This yeah. has been able to incorporate that into some narrative and some action. And actually, as you were saying, Alex, beautiful art and beautiful landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's quite difficult because uh, at the end of the day, the commonplace and the picture of researching is just the opposite. You know, the book, the library, the indoor thing, or just Indiana Jones again. So mm -hmm. I think that the, the fact that they have been able to make some kind of narrativistic out of decoding, of discovering, of deciphering something in the past that you never see but you interpret it just through text, quite skillful. And let's yeah. say that there's a little problem here in this game, and it requires a an amount of patience that is not so common nowadays. Actually, yeah. I, I really believe that the best version of this game comes after a second or even third replay, which I mm. think that I hate. It's like when people tell you, this series is great from season three on. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, when, when you replay this, it keeps all the, the progress you have made uh, deciphering the, 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 the language. And um, it, it really improves. Actually, you start rereading things with a much more solid translation. There are less mistakes. And you actually have kind of more skills identifying inscriptions all around. So it really pays off if 
you have the patience, of course. Mm -hmm. Found another inscription. Yeah, of some of us. Some of <laughs> you found another inscription. Yeah, and so okay, from is correct. That is excellent. Uh huh. And reverse from reverse weed from clearly. Rivers. Earth, maybe. Uh, what is that? I mean, maybe. I don't remember how do I how I go to that to the the ritual place because I see a prompt on top of the thing, but I don't know how to get there. Um, Put the cross there. I can't. I can't walk. I can't jump. Hmm. Also, in, in the chat, apparently you also get much longer text to translate sometimes when you're on your eighth replay. <laughs> <That's fiction. laughs> You'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, uh, Steve says back left. Oh, what back towards the, um, towards the, the rack? I would guess so. I would assume. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy. Back towards crash right then. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, left, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, there's another oh, yeah. inscription. Of Ooh. course. Of course. <laughs> it was a later oh, okay. addition to the building. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, uh -huh. I am very jealous of all these people putting inscriptions everywhere. I work in a temple and we have zero inscriptions. We don't even know whose temple that is. So I'm I'm salty. <laughs> I'm very salty. Okay. So Emperor. Emperor. <laughs> Emperors. Emperors. And then home. Home. home is in there as well. Yeah. Okay, so it's not home. Good. Excellent. Not home. Then what is it? Emperors. Live? Uh, I don't know. Emperors live forever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I was thinking that. Uh, I, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's forever oh, because family, like, like family and home are more related than home and forever. I would say. Right, but home is wrong. So. Yeah, but. It, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. Let's see. Well, let's see if she if she has any comment. Emperors live forever. Well, it makes sense. Emperors we have a here. we have a first time chat from Harold fifty five. Thank welcome. you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and, welcome. and they say they're jealous of Elias' ability to date literally any object at a glance. Oh uh, yeah, I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is something that we we all wish we had. Mm -hmm. It is okay. This is this is slander time. Um, it is much easier to do if you do very specific pottery, because uh. you know, <laughs> you know, um, there's only so many things, uh, so many fragments, and that pottery is very identifiable. I've seen people like pick up one fragment, it's like, oh yeah, this is Proto Corinthian, and it's blah blah blah, and here and that, and I'm like, okay, fair, because you do pottery, but like with slightly complex stuff, more complex stuff, it can mm -hmm. be trickier so yes i'm also very jealous <laughs> i'm checking all the lintels again <laughs> just in case yeah you know, that, that's very funny working in roman epigraphy because most of the times it's just tombstones that you found reusing some old church and... right and they work as, mm. as as lintels right exactly perfect <laughs> and you can hear some expert taking a look to it and saying oh of course that's first to fourth century ad oh, of course perfect yeah. <laughs> so Kate, uh, Steve says, don't forget to press buttons for questions and remarks, which appear from time to time at the bottom of the screen. Even when flying the nebula, they can add lore or info. Okay, you know, you know what happens when I fly? I get panicky. Yeah, but then you can get panicky with the lore. So. Okay, <laughs> I can get panicky, but like, make it's it like more... listening to an audiobook when you're flying. It, 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 when you're driving, not when you're flying. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like it calms you. It's just I soothing. drive much better. Excuse you. I drive much better than I fly things. Excuse you. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is locked, right? Right. We tried to go. Nope. Okay. That one doesn't work. 
I am risking a little bit to maybe spoil something, but I kind of remember, and my memory is not my best, that there was some kind of back, uh, backyard or back garden in this house, or maybe. Oh, this sure. Place, but, um... How do I get there? Exactly. Yeah. So there's one more door okay. that we have to find. Is it this door? Uh, I wish I remember. <laughs> um... See, right? One more door to squeeze through. So maybe that's a hint. Like squeeze. Aha! Uh -huh. Bada oh, bing. is it this one? All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then... I'll be right back. Oh, come on. Don't tell... Don't tell it. Don't be... Uh, not nice to the... To the robot. He can crush you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have... All right. Close. Another axe. Well, yes. If only I had Eivor, but unfortunately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Kratos. I know. A woman can dream. Axe would come flying back. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that sun would dry things. Garden beds. This is really oh, yeah, giving yeah. me the Martian vibes. If you've seen the Martian when when he plants potatoes on Mars. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is really, really. It's really giving me that. <laughs> okay. Someone asks uh, thoughts on the loop religion so far. Um, you guys can answer that. Because you've played, well, at least David has, has played more. Yeah, I've played some of it. I, I don't know. He's, he's just admitted to having played it three times, so he <laughs> is better. <laughs> <laughs> to... uh, it, it strikes me as something just designed to have uh, uh, something that is against history in the, in the scenario, in the whole world of this, you know, because actually... Um, Aliyah is just fighting all the time against this denial of, of past and invention and renewal. So it sounds like a kind of uh, middle age ish thing just to try to prevent any, any beliefs on novelty of change or regeneration, which I'm not making spoilers about, but I think it's interesting because it sounds like the kind of belief or cult that is projecting the conspiranoid or, or the fake history culture in social media so much nowadays as if there is no change. Uh, all technologies had it all, they had robots, and nowadays we have people talking about aliens with pyramids, just in the game the robots are real. So uh, it sounds like a little bit like a denial of real history, and she's the only one doing real history. And that's my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this sounds like a grave. I'm sorry, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah. see yes. it. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep you, yeah. Okay, but then who buried them? Right, thank you. Mm. I read a very cool review once that uh, there was, I think it was in Arcade Gaming, again, memory, but someone said that there is a connection between this uh, loop religion and how different and better the experience is when you are uh, playing or replaying, so that there is this kind of connection between the loop and when it happens again you are perceiving the game as in a different way with another replay and so when you see the ghost shade of herself following her it's like your previous game in, and you are just some moment later or before it was a long show but i find it interesting because it's true that it's the only game that well, okay not the only way but it's a game that is quite designed to try to enhance that re repetition as an asset not just as a okay i don't know what to do mm. Mm -mm -mm. which is quite like researching actually. So what are we doing now? I don't we know are what looking I'm at a, a timeline. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the inscriptions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, the sky is empty. Well. Huh. Right. Wait, Steve says he's at 18 times over PC, PS4, PS5, Switch, and over 200 hours testing Evans Vault, and he's still finding new words. Wow. This is fantastic. So that is impressive. That is wow. That is very impressive. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is there anything else here? 
the thing I, I I I think I like the most about this game is that it really draws attention to I mean epigraphy and and the the importance of inscriptions because epigraphy and, and and the science of inscriptions is basically one of the most important ways in which we still I mean in which we have uh, uh, acquired knowledge about the ancient world like they're so vital of importance um, but most games or popular receptions in, in other media as well they just tend to gloss over them or they they're, they're like a <clears throat> very just like an aesthetic thing that builds that creates atmosphere that builds atmosphere like in Assassin's Creed for example I mean there are inscriptions but they're just there I mean they have one inscription in which I copy paste like 500 times and they copy paste it all over the the, the the place but in this game it's more I mean it really like inscriptions are, are given their full attention I would say and that, that's what I really and that's something that I think to a broader audience is is, is powerful and, and and interesting um that they might get a different view of what inscriptions actually are and how they tell us information and in an off-parfetch way I mean it's not like they are reading matrix or something like that it's done in a quite yeah. a realistic way for researchers yeah yeah that's true I mean, we're always talking about like archaeo gaming and how archaeology can be important. I mean, interesting for the study of games. But I mean, epigraphy can do that as well. But I haven't seen any studies that, for example, investigate um, player inscriptions in, let's say, Minecraft, for example. Mm -hmm. that, that would be so interesting to see like what kind of text they write, uh, what kind of materials they write it on, uh, what kind of... Um, I mean, which la what language that they use, where they put it, uh, what, what it means, and stuff like that. You could even do it with. Uh, I mean, I don't know if Bill is here, but if he were here, he would say you could do it with FromSoft games as well, like with the, uh, the, the 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 small messages that you leave other players, for example. And that could be like an epigraphical analysis in in the vein of archaeo gaming of video games. And I think that would be very interesting to explore, but I haven't seen anyone actually do that um doctor who did that with um uh river song leaving inscriptions for the doctor in various places in in space and time um mm -hmm. so he would know that she was around <laughs> <laughs> oh something went wrong i love that doctor who reference so much <laughs> <laughs> yes i am a whoovian <laughs> um yeah it's there You'll see in a few seconds. Something's. Oh sure, I understand. Oh yeah, where's his head? Hey. Yeah. yeah. What oh, the? Remember this thing of the head? Excuse you. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. He is, uh, yeah. Okay. This is intriguing. This is very mm -hmm. ominous. Yeah. <laughs> but still, where's his head? Yeah. And who the fuck is talking? <laughs> Yeah, so his voice receptor, I mean, emitter mm -hmm. was not in his head. Right. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's very ominous. Okay. I really love how Planet Defense 6, all in all, it's so beautiful. And just looking at the chat and, you know, 6 is, everyone is in love with 6. I would like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Just a disclaimer, I'm, I'm pasting the chat a link to a YouTube video because uh, after that commentary you made about someone discovering the still new wars about in the game after eight replays, there is a very cool video of, of John Ingle explaining in some kind of conference about all the whole process of creation of the language of this game. And for everyone who likes it, it's really recommendable. It's so cool. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. sure. That looks really interesting. Okay, <clears throat> you're, you're like um, a, few, a few seconds away from a big what the fuck. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. 
like a giant what the fuck. Like, I mean, we've we've figured that the robots have been wiped, um, and that they know something. They know okay. everything. Okay, shit. Wow. Oh, this took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is so nice, and archaeology and inscriptions. The darkness will consume you all. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, robots without them. Yeah. The robots know everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I need the other T now. Okay. <laughs> the other T. The other T. The afternoon T. Yeah, the no. afternoon T. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Valhalla T. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valka special. Mm -hmm. You know it. Oh, so we were here. There's a cave. What the? F mm. I mean, six. You had no head, and someone else that we assume dead was speaking through you. Yeah. I am mildly concerned. He's a medium. <laughs> Yes, yes. So he's an he's an avatar. He's an avatar. From... Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, an instrument of the gods. This is where oh. we have the Moon Knight discussion. <laughs> no, oh my god! Yes, exactly. And why we shouldn't use the word avatar for ancient Egypt? <laughs> no, we shouldn't. All right. Uh, let's continue. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. My nose is also yeah. being an avatar of terrible things. <laughs> ah, the joys of allergies and weird weather. Yeah. Mm, okay. Aboard the Nightingale. All right, all right. Just look yeah, at this. run up sailing for Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Regret. Have, have you? Have any of you just finished the game on this one? No. This is my first okay. time playing the game. I also have not finished it yet. <coughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is our, our live responses. This is our reactions. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it is a mechanism. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, let's take a hammer to the artifact. You're going to see. I love the atmosphere mm -hmm. of the, this room. It makes a little bit that exploded more the boat. It's so cool. It is. Uh, the figurine, the necklace. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I like this because, as you were saying before, Alex, th th this is so much focus on technical researching that there is no fetish on the object in this game. Okay, you are working with objects all the time, but there is one cool object, but not too much time all around. And the rest of them, you are in researching different materials, but it's not like there is the cross, the cap, or the arc, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that makes it quite the opposite of the tradition in video games. I mean, oh, Julie has joined us in the Who's chat. Here? Hey, yeah. Julie. Hi. Yeah, no, we ain't going to this celebration. We didn't know the guy, he's sketchy. <laughs> we ain't. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. We're, we, we don't have time for, you know tea and crumpets and other things and unpleasantries we need we need to go find more things we have to find the other tea in the <laughs> mm -hmm. right to find the shit okay so um we're next well this is where we are mm -hmm. okay this so... is oh a citadel okay no we're not going to Ajax. there's also the side from the mural <sighs> Ooh, where should we go? Where should we go? Uh, the citadel I, I or the site? 
Guys. I mean, as an archaeology stream, we should go to the site, no? Or should we... Do you want to go to the Citadel? Uh, so the Citadel says that um, her friend may take a look at the crown and oh, see, yeah. right? So maybe there first and then the site? Um, yeah, that's... Oh, uh, the chat is saying mural, but we can go to the Citadel. <laughs> and, uh, we can quickly go to the... We okay. can... Uh, quickly have the the crown inspected, and then we can go to the. That's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Sure. Let's sail. Yay! Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. Also, Alex, my food has not been delivered yet. Just as you. Oh no. Just so you know. Yeah, I know. The universe. The the matter of the universe is being torn apart. Uh, let's see everything. Uh. Is everything is normal when I'm not doing the stream and then I'm on it and then the food exactly. doesn't get delivered. It's my fault. No, we're not saying normally. Nothing this is, is normal. This awesome. is oh, Look at that. Oh, I fucking hate this. <laughs> how do I? How do I give him controls? I don't. You're doing good. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> no, we haven't learned to sail. It's it's not my favorite. I'm good at Mario Kart because you can bump onto things and people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. At some point, Kate is going to rage quit and we're going to play Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm going to yell. Uh, let's see. Oh. oh, pretty. Oh, how very pretty. Is the is the thing at the top like the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem? That is very pretty. Or is that uh, one of the mosques? It does look like it's inspired uh, okay. by that. Oh, it's... It mm. it's so pretty. 20 years. Wow. Okay. Can I bias your game or set you freestyle? Because I tell you that it's really cool to ignore that door for a while and go to the right. But oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Kate is the avatar. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, that's no, fine. No, I did not want I to know. ignore the door, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, come on. It's your game. Yeah, good. Uh, as soon as I can take control back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta we gotta have this conversation now. It still works. Amazingly. Okay. It's cool that some of the most cutting edge technology in the whole game is coming from a past that no one is really thinking about. It's like people in the past had robots and nowadays we have crops. Yeah, I guess yeah. exactly. The religion has something to do with that. <clears throat> okay, but that what is, is a hopper? Let's get meta here. <laughs> what is it? But how do we hop? Is it hop? <laughs> <laughs> how do we hop? Yes, it does matter. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Ma'am, maybe they've... Oh. I'm not going to say. <laughs> and we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's check out uh, that area that uh, David said. This area with the feet? <laughs> yeah, <that> one. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the feet? These are giant feet, Alexander. Look at that. 
I hadn't seen it. I hadn't noticed it was a foot. I'm, I'm watching this in, 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 in delay. I'm just, I, I just saw the gate. I used this area with the feet. Now you have a title for a video. Oh yeah, the, we're going to attract. We're going to attract a, a very specific audience with that. But. <laughs> Oh wow, now we are in a oh in a very hmm okay. In a marketplace? Oh no wait, what is it? Uh it's a, a it's a favela. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. God's, God's feet. feet, well that's yeah. <laughs> once okay. Again. okay. God's feet. Ah, oh, I see that. I see that. No, we're not going back up. No, that's not what I wanted to. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, <laughs> fair. The slums, yeah, that's what it is. That's yeah, the, the slums, right? Yeah. I, I, I have something to tell the the robot, but I don't think he's ready for that kind of conversation. <laughs> uh, you'll you'll see when he makes his remark. No, I want to go back. You can return or no? Girl, yes, I can. I can. Isn't there anything written on the feet, or just so a spot? Because I always see a spot. Oh, is there? Okay. Yes, yeah, six. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Maybe it's because they're poor. I mean, you know. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know if a robot would understand the socioeconomic implication of, mm -hmm. you know. I don't think he's programmed to. Yeah. Exactly. Huh. It, it it does seem to be the case. So I'm assuming that these people are not allowed into the citizen the citadel, so they don't know the password <laughs> for the hopping. Louise says archaeology. Nah, we'll teach robot about capitalism. Yes, <laughs> which yes. is an entirely different game. We'll teach, we'll teach them to <laughs> yeah. eat the masters. Wait, we are the masters. <laughs> that might um, backfire. Timor's bar. Okay. Yeah, oh, so we know. have child slaver. Okay. Okay. That works. Oh, yeah. They start killing you without alcohol. Very true. Very true. Mm -hmm. You're back. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're not making small talk, we're just gathering information. Yeah. This is a business trip. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly, this is strictly business. Yeah. We are professionals. Well, oh. I like that part of the game because it, if, if you think about all the archaeology from, you know, I am repeating a lot of Indiana Jones, from writer or whatever, mm -hmm. it's only objects and temples and, and dead people yeah. and things that are clearly has a lot to do with speaking with people around and this game has it too. That's true. Yeah. It's more than just like lost cities and like ancient artifacts. Yeah. Actually no one starts digging or researching without considering the local folklore. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well I mean hello capitalism and and colonialism. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Julie says. Albereth in particular has a re really rich trove of information about the past, which is funny because it's just normal to her who grew up in it. Mm. Yeah, I guess if you're living in a place, you're so you sort of get used to it and you don't think about those things. I mean, Are people tired of watching the Colosseum every day. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think I would if I lived in Rome, but no. I, I could imagine. 
I do know when I was in, in when I lived in Athens that there were like I was always like, Oh the Acropolis and the Parthenon and everything. And then my Greek friends were like, Yeah, eh, it, it's just there. <laughs> so in the meantime, we are learning that someone has moved up the social ladder. Mm -hmm. And it's not coming to the slums anymore. Okay. Yeah, let me pay for this. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's always good to have someone who, you know, who gives you free drinks. <laughs> As an archaeologist. Yeah. As a person. As a person, <laughs> yeah. In general, it's both. just good. Exactly. They're both. <laughs> are, they not, are they not mutually... Uh... <laughs> oh, he has something for us. An mm. effigy. Okay. Oh, -ho. oh no, it's decorated with glyphs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's been a while. We have to get back it's in. It's been a while. No, that's true. That's true. All right. So, yeah. death. For the old times. Yeah. Uh, death. Uh, path. Uh, death. Death path. We got death. All right. We we don't know. Oh. Yeah, we don't. So maybe we can just death. ease the path. Death yeah. is or death. It has to be. Is or and? No, I don't know. Could be I don't know, man. We'll see. Something as as I mean, generic as this it can yeah, be like a see. difficult word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Where did you get it? Let's be honest. I was mm. working on the field. Yeah, right. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. found it. Hmm. Displacement of artifact. Exactly. Open that basement. Yeah, it belongs in a museum. Definitely. <laughs> no more drinks, thank you. Another time. Oh, it's called Raki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's an actual drink. <laughs> it, is, it is the drink. Yeah. Yep. It is the drink. <clears throat> okay. See you around. Goodbye. Uh, not yet. We we ain't leaving, dude. We need to go into the citadel. Yeah. We're not we leaving. We have to get that crown looked at. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. We need to find our way back to the, the giant feet. <laughs> she had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it boosts our ratings. If we do. Right, right. <laughs> we, we are appealing to a diverse crowd. There you go. <laughs> I used to because I'm getting to some age, but those feet, mm. since we are talking about them, really remind me of Lost. Anyone mm. get the reference? Uh, Lost, uh, it was a... Uh... The reference is Lost on me. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> no, I I think that was... I was uh, too young to watch that when that came out. Or... Okay. okay. But what, when, when was that Lost? It was uh, 2004, 2010, but still. <clears throat> Apparently, we missed two people to find in the slums. Oh, well. But we can return. Oh, yeah. Um, ourselves, God. Okay. Did we oh, get it's okay. Wrong? So the, the, the is can also be... Uh, B, so it's like mm. uh, verbs, they uh, they don't make a difference between like, yeah, different... the conjugation. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Julie. <laughs> Everybody makes me feel young here, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> too, too young, okay. Oh, we got B, that's important. We don't, we oh, don't in have the, the text, yeah. 
there's two people to find in the citadel. That's what it is. Not okay. In the, not in the yeah. Pray we got excellent. I mean, that was that was easy. Lol. Um, B. I don't fucking know. No. Um. Oh, okay. Welcome. Do that. It's a. Wait, wait, wait. Because uh, she's saying that the the squid oh, yeah. reminds her of her word for butt. Mm -hmm. B U T one T, um, <laughs> yeah. so maybe and. Um, yeah, because it's like a what what you call that in English? Like a I don't know the word in English, but like a, a word that connects two sentences. Mm -hmm. It's a connector. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Have we talked about syntactic markers in the script? No, because I, my brain is smooth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, conjunction. That was the one I was looking for. Conjunction. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's always good to have a specific, yeah. English is hard. I mean, linguistics is hard. But yeah. It's harder in English than, <laughs> than it is in Dutch. So. Speak, friend, and enter. Yeah, nice. That's yeah, a nice reference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Melon. Mm -hmm. Melon. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, well, in the meantime, some of us. Guess the, the the word. Ah, the goddess name worked. The gate thought we were pilgrims. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is. I mean, this looks really nice. This is very pretty. This it is. It reminds me of AC one, to be honest. I was fact. I was thinking Gerudo City in Legend of Zelda, like any uh... Gerudo City in Legend of Zelda. Although they're all women and all warriors, well, most warriors. I don't know. It was it Bill a couple of months ago or streams ago that he was talking about how video games have had this sort of. Uh, grayish area uh, era or something, but here, like it's it's full of color. Yeah, like that. yeah, it's finally, very vibrant. finally. Then... Okay, we're uh, this is very pretty. Oh my god! <clears throat> I really like that these kind of environments are never empty in this game because many times yeah. we're just going through these kind of cities and it seems like a like a model, but here there's life, you know, stains and broken things. True. It feels like it's an actual place. Like it's mm -hmm. realistic. Oh. It, it, it's my God. They're selling slaves. Oh. What we were just saying about this place, how nice it was. Yeah. Well, I mean. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks so, pretty. Slaves. It's just. I mean, the pyramids look pretty, but. <laughs> yeah. You know, and mm. many other things look pretty, but they were. Yeah. Fair built. Enough. You know. Uh, this market is for people, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't serve droids. Mm. <laughs> hmm. I wasn't unhappy to leave. Yeah, well, I, I get yeah. that. I get that. She doesn't that. like sand. Oof. <laughs> yeah, he has a dark side. Mm, I told you. Yeah, he... Yeah, this just got darker, like, yeah, all, this of a, just... all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Yeah, I would like to say when uh, when at the gate she says, "Oh, I dream of this place and it's and it's alleyways at night." That that happens. Mm. I do dream of the alleyways of my hometown at night sometimes, like most times. Um, it just it just ingrained. It just happens. I was also not unhappy to leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have things that we can touch. Yes. Excellent. Strike the gong. <laughs> 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 Wait, is there anything okay. else I can 
Can I steal? No, I can't steal shit. Oh, there's another axe. Why do you put axes around if I can't axe people and things? This is cruel. <laughs> this is cruel. Uh, you should make your own game. Heaven's Assault and then you can kill everyone <laughs> with axes. Let's strike it again. Let's just strike the gong against the door. It's bold Valhalla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make oh yeah, Assassin's Creed Infinity, make it happen. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am. I'm not trying to add violence to your little adventure game, Alex. Kate is. Kate is the one who is <laughs> talking about acts. I am perfectly happy. I don't want to. Violence. I don't want to kill yeah. people. I just want to take down doors and shit. She just has an axe collection that she needs to afford. <laughs> Very true. Very true. But I'm not. I, I'm. I don't want the violence here. Oh lord. We are at the soap opera. Mm -hmm. Quite so, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I you know, if if I had an axe, I would I would <laughs> I would have opinions. I would have stronger opinions. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn on the light here because Belgium does not have sun or light after 9 p.m. Hang on. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, finally, finally. Okay. There you go. Look at this shit and tell us what it is and how to open it. That's all we need from you, ma'am. We don't care about your children. We don't care about your son. We don't care about... It. Just give us the things. <laughs> tell us the things. So Max says, uh, not gonna lie, I don't like these moments in games that let you ask a question about something that the character knows, but you cannot know yet. And then treats yeah. you like an idiot for asking. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> and Julie thinks you're rude. I mean, <laughs> I think I think this woman is rude. I think Kate should, learn, should write some lines for video games. It would be really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them would not be PG-13. <laughs> Rockstar game rejected her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Six is getting spicy. He has opinions. Yeah. Mm. If you lose this crown, we're coming back with an axe, and the dagger, and the sword. See, I'm not the one who is instigating violence here. <laughs> okay, but this time I'm instigating <laughs> violence, not say anything. because I think, I think that Six is right in being concerned. We were just talking earlier about how nice it is to have a game without violence. Um, <laughs> I mean, I played, I played um, Unpacking, and it was lovely. And I never once wanted to commit arson or homicide. Think about that. I am. I will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll be back, ma'am. <laughs> we'll be back armed. It's absolutely no historical, but just a little bit of marketing. I just finished a game I knew nothing about called Lake. Just like that. Oh, so I've I... seen that. I've seen that game. How did you it like is... it? Uh, surprisingly a lot because the, the premise couldn't be less epic you're simply a woman coming back to her hometown because you want to uh, to have a couple of weeks free and of course you decide to replace your father as a postman in 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 your hometown and basically it's your story delivering letters in the 80s and that's it 
and because you are a post woman, you start thinking about your decisions in future life. That's it. I mean, not not only no violence, no action apart from driving very safely, mm-hmm. and it's surprisingly addictive. It's it's like sometimes you don't really need violence. Actually, sometimes you don't even need too many things to make a narrative very interesting. Having yeah, that's like a, an example apart from saving, but yeah. I yeah. Recommend Sorry. yeah, there's like a growing amount of like games where, you, I mean, if, if you've played uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, oh, uh, I mean, mm. that game, all yes. you do is walk and look at things. That's all you do. But I would be really wrong if I did not say that that was one of the most impactful games I've ever played. Like, all you do is basically just you look around and you walk a little bit, but it's so... Um, I mean, like, expressive, emotional. Um, and you don't have to do anything. <clears throat> or you can't do anything, basically. I mean, in some areas you do some. Like, in some chapters, but still, in general. Sorry, we, it's, were, exchanging, it's int- we were exchanging words with this, with this slave seller. See, once again, if I'd had an axe, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, Julie, for me, it's the other way around. <laughs> I lost Edith Finch, but Gone Home is still on my list. And I actually saw it was like in, in sale or something uh, today or something. Mm-hmm. yesterday. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm trying to understand where we are going somewhere in alleyways and other things. Mm-hmm. No. Aha! Uh-huh. Who the hell is Tuppy? But you know what? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Is this someone who can help? <coughs> the treasure trove. But it's you. This man just stole from us. 100%. <laughs> like, I know a, a street rat. Reef rat when I see one. <laughs> He's just said, hello, it's you. <laughs> I'm telling you, he stole shit. No spoilers, but trust Kate. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no, no, I knew, like, from the very beginning. When someone bumps into you, <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Excuse me for not assuming everyone. <laughs> I'm I mean... fairly certain they're trying to steal <clears throat> shit from you. I will wait here suspiciously. But... Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, a treasure trove means he's a swindler. Clearly. Hmm. I just reduced it to never trust a man who walks with a cloak and a hood on the street. That's what Assassin's Creed has taught us. Exactly. A Lord of the Rings. Exactly. That too. He does get increasingly sassy, doesn't he? It's like... Yeah. <clears throat> but it's, uh, I mean, I guess like a robot character is like an easy character to make, to turn into something sassy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So what should we? Huh. Oh, you wanna? You have to choose which one you want to show at him. Yeah. Yeah. Or you chose the effigy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Show no gift. <laughs> the chat is. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck, but I, I feel like they are just watching us do terrible at this game. I don't care. <laughs> like... <clears throat> I don't care. I mean, did you find it? Did you steal it? Like a fat lost cat? That... Is it um an astronomical thing? It is an astronomical thing. Okay. Have you ever guys had to deal with one of these treasure hunters in real life? I'm not at freedom to say. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she is a treasure. No, <laughs> she is. A, uh, I I can't I can't say that I have. Uh, have you? Uh, not too much, but I, I must say that your silences are more suspicious even than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I mean, I haven't personally dealt with, but like, um. Uh, several sites where I work had looting issues, and the things that are looted then show up in private collections very often. Um, and the people who uh, sell them are usually this type of local uh, art merchants, quote unquote, but actually they're just looters. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's there's several, um, and some you know pass for very respectable people. Uh, Speaking of which, I'm, I'm giving this man the sass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, somehow we all get by. Can we go up these stairs? Not up there. I'm sorry, what are you hiding up there? <laughs> oh, he's a homosexual, isn't he? He's a gay. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's Pride Month. We need some fruit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Julie says Tappy is the furthest thing from respectable. I I also. Oh yeah, I mean, like I've yeah. also several of my of my D and D play, uh, characters work exactly like he does and speak exactly <laughs> like he does. So you know. Um, I I feel I feel very close to him. All right. Uh, so I think we still have to find one more. I'm sure there's more, here. right? I'm I'm sure we can go more up on the city, on the citadel. Like we we aren't. Yeah, we still the ground level. So I mean, like very really low. Yeah. yeah we, we need to have that crown. <clears throat> uh, in, in, in inspected. Yeah, exactly. So uh -huh. How do we get up there? Little history is mentioning that he he, he never traded with, with Tappy and made any kind of uh, purchase. I don't remember it either. I, I'd like that it's oh. quite possible to go through this game without interacting or depending on so many characters. There is no this this rabbit hole that you have to go through if otherwise you'll never finish. That's quite cool. That's yeah. fair. Um, mm -hmm. hello. Who the hell are you? Why are you talking to me? Also, we don't have to meet. It. There's no more people to meet here. Okay. Says. Well, but we need to get get the the crown. We need to get the yeah, that's true. Or else. And then we have to go to. Uh, what was it again? The the, the site from the mural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's also a <clears throat> um a new site. Oh yeah. Oh, so we can give Tappy more than one artifact. Oh well. So then. do we need him to get the crown? Uh, look that. Or... I'm not talking to this woman anymore. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, the other one. I forgot the yeah, yeah. What do you mean I've got nothing more to talk to Aroy about? You just gave her the... Okay. okay. Let's see if we can give the... The, the gay more artifacts. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do we have that is... We have the, the knife... We have uh, the brooch he has seen. What else do we have? We have pottery, but he doesn't strike me as a pottery expert. What else do we have? <coughs> we'll see. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. okay, yes, hello. We are back. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> I had forgotten the color of your eyes. You've seen her two minutes ago. <laughs> it's just... Uh, Do you like it closer? Oh. Memory. oh, we have to go to Oroi for the crown, which you can give that to her if she's upset. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just to not That's... appease his temper, you will have to deal with the slaves. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's done. He's okay. Okay. 
Uh, did... Oh, we did. We already gave the crown. I, I also meant that then. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. <clears throat> oh, I, I'm sorry. I had not noticed. Dude, you're not okay. touching the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the way off our dick. You're not touching the robot. Get off. No, no, no. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. No, sir. Um, so if we, can, if we can't take the thing yeah. back, are we done yeah, with this place then? Yeah, let's go to the site then. Okay. Oh, she's remembering things. One second, you'll see. Uh-huh. Yeah, lost a robot here once. Three? Oh, that was his name. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine, dude. <laughs> Oh, he's yeah, smiling. Kind of but it's not even the best of messages to six. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, <true. laughs> it's, it's a warning. Yeah. Not Just all remember, all. <laughs> I lost a robot here once. <laughs> ah, yes. One ju it looked just like you. And I exploded yeah. him. <laughs> he got less sassy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go right. to the Let's go do more site. archaeology. Yeah, we're leaving. We're not speaking to the gate again. All right, back to the ship we go. And <laughs> we're driving. <laughs> okay. Okay. New leads for a new site. Oh, yeah. And more sailing. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Yay. Sailing. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Okay. So let's see what new uh, places we have. Yeah. <laughs> Deep breath, Kate. Chat says. Sad. <laughs> Yeah, Julie says, I love being able to zoom in and out on the timeline. I also, yeah. uh, when I play it, I really like the timeline aspect. Like, in many games, like, you find artifacts and you're supposed to, like, create the, the storyline. It, it's like environmental storytelling. It's indexical storytelling. It's, it's You find something and on the basis of that thing, you sort of reconstruct the history. But here it's an actual timeline that's being made for you. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I think that's a really cool aspect. And it shows... I mean, it's. It, I mean, it literalizes the environmental storytelling as archaeology metaphor, <laughs> and I, I, that's something I really like. Maybe it's a silly point, but I really like the fact that every single fact appears in the timeline, even the fact uh, of him working. You know, it's like she's not disconnected from history; she's also being part of creating the timeline. Because mm -hmm. many times timelines are just things that happen that you are not mm -hmm. simply writing it. But no, I mean, one day research becomes part of the timeline as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. True. Oh, okay. I'm trying to... Uh-huh. Okay, so... Let's go to the site from the mural. Let's go to the site from the mural. Let's sail. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I'm also not a fan of the professor. Um, She's... Well, she reminds me of way, way too many professors who are very well connected. Um... And uh, not necessarily nice um, to their, you know, students and, and underli underlings. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Feels pass. I'm bad, I'm bad. This looks amazing. Just think of it as Mario Kart. <laughs> this is the ultimate uh, rainbow road. I hate. I hate. <laughs> Next time. Well, I... I can't, uh, you know who's really good at, at driving a Mario Kart? Like, scarily good? Jess. But she's not here. Mm. Next time... I uh, know. Next time she's going to be working. But if she wasn't working, 
at important things. <laughs> I would put her on the commands, like. Ah, oh, okay. <coughs> I think it's the only game I have seen which is not really coming for an open world because it's not a sandbox, but the, the mm -hmm. traveling is not the, the highlight of the game. Normally, it's the most enhanced one, like you have a cool transport, a cool car, a cool mm -hmm. skate, but here it's more like a, I don't know, transition. Yeah, but transition. it is, if I wasn't driving, it would be very relaxing to watch. Uh. If I wasn't. Oh, if you, if you had, like, uh, in Assassin's Creed, like, you just... Oh, you just follow the road. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never do that when I play Assassin's Creed. I do that if I, if I really have to, if I'm in a hurry, but, like, I usually enjoy doing, mm. you know... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ghost wake. Oh, it's shiny. Oh. You'll see it. You'll see it. A couple of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it shines. But all in all, this is a very original take on, like, space travel. It is, it is. I don't know where I'm going, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, was that? I was just trying to remember a game, because I knew that the art and the setting in this game reminded me of some other one. Memory. Has anyone played It's Shade? Which one? It's Shade. It's... Can you put it in the... Yes, I just did. It's one of the most original ones I have. We were talking about non-violent games. It's literally a game yeah. in which you are in this fantastic world with oh, yeah. hybrid animal people thing. And you're oh. a painter. And you walk around Ooh. making paintings. You're a painter. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's one oh. of the most zen and chill games I've ever played. And um, the aesthetic is... Okay, quite different because that was an island with of trees and so on, but the design and the very, you know, colorful and tasty aesthetic of this game reminds me of that one. That, yeah, that game looks great. Okay. I like that you're a painter. And that's a, I don't know too many games where you're, you're a painter. <coughs> oh, we are, uh, yes, we found a ruin. Found a ruin? There you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's very ruinous. <laughs> It's very ruined. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's what we were going for, no? It's yeah, it's it's quite ruined. Yeah. And that's an inscription. <clears throat> Wouldn't you know it? Okay. Okay. I see the gods. I see we Yeah, gods. Okay, so with works, that's perfect. R could also be in there, but no. Um. Okay, so we know with. Okay, and this one, yeah. if related, is home. Maybe people? Belong. Uh, um, we belong with... With the gods above. That's it. This is Scientology yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you belong with gods above. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just saw that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was that was a bad turn. <laughs> oh, I see stuff. How do I reach stuff? No, I wanted to go the other way. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we gotta go...
We can't take a hard left or right. Fine. Fine. Nope. Uh, Steve says to check the map and <clears throat> mark your waypoint. Okay. Okay. How do I? Can you mark waypoints in this map? Yeah, how do I mark? Mm -hmm. Click on yellow dot. Okay. Uh, but if I click, it just goes back here. It doesn't... To read that. It doesn't uh, give me, like, a route. I don't know. Okay, well... Could be A or X, he says. Okay. Okay. Let's just try out the buttons. X is not giving me anything. Y is giving me the thing. B is bringing me back. And A is bringing me back as well. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't play with a keyboard. I'm a normal person. I'm very biased against people who play with a keyboard. I don't trust them. <laughs> What's wrong with keyboard users? It's just they're just uncomfortable. The keyboards, not the users. It de it depends on what you play. Uh, for okay, let me rephrase. For the types of game I play, there's mm. no use for a keyboard. Um, unless it's like Age of Empires. Oh, something there. Uh oh, did you Jesus. find it? It's something. Chonky. Oh no, I am on PC, uh, but I play with with a with a joypad. <laughs> okay, we found the site. Yes, excellent. All right. Mm hmm. Okay. Last why... time I tried to map to this place, but why? That's what we're not going to find out. <laughs> we're okay. never gonna leave this place. We're never because... gonna leave this place. You know that. Yeah. This is not Majora's Mask. We have three days. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is lush. Yeah. You'll see it in a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so this pretty. This is very pretty with the red trees. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Okay. Who lit these lanterns? The, uh, they work on solar energy? I mean... I don't know. <laughs> There's one living person on this moon. Oh yeah, you. It's me, yeah. Well... He's very optimistic. Lots to find out here. I hope it's weapons. <laughs> I hope it's weapons. <laughs> Max says that he has to remind himself most games that the torches and lamps being lit doesn't mean someone is around, it's purely aesthetic. Yeah. So Assassin's Creed 5 there. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, six is. Uh, bug it. He's glitching. Out. He's yeah. glitching. But that's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Poor soul. Oh, poor baby. Oh, shite. Okay. Okay. There is a... Oh, you're gonna see her soon. That's a cool statue. Yes, it is a cow... Goddess? Fertility. Ritual. Ritual. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's clearly a ritual. I wonder who she is. I don't know. She, yeah, she's crying. She has horns. Yeah. Oh, this is sad. She's weeping. And beckoning. Okay. Okay. Are we sure there's nothing around the goddess? Um, fair. Fair enough. I... Mm. <laughs> As a battering ram. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said it. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't think that's the right answer. But let's go with it. Okay. So we can't break down this door. F. Okay. Oh. Well, have you used a battering ram? Personally, in in real <laughs> life, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> in That's this not game, what I was asking. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Makes quite a coincidence. Uh, right? Yeah. I mean, I've never used an axe, I have to say. Oh, no? I have. Never. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Never, ever. Uh, I don't think she likes to be kind. Just discovered okay more marketing here but there is this cool place in barcelona where you can pay for two hours and they give you a full room uh, a lot of different size hammers and so on and you can simply destroy everything for the sake of it oh, you can break i like that you can destroy oh wow yeah i like yeah. the idea um in new york there are places where well, i mean i'm sure they're all over the us uh, there are places where you can go and pay to throw axes at, at targets wow mm-hmm Okay, so this is a botanical garden. Thank you, mm -hmm. Captain Obvious. But it's very pretty. I love it. It is. But what do you mean there are no inscriptions? Never believed that. Right? Have to be. There have to be inscriptions, right? Oh! They mention it in different points in the game, but I really like the, the very cool point design here is that robots, something coming from the old civilization that built up all these buildings. It's very interesting how coherent it is that every place is adapted with ramps for robots. Something that sometimes is, is missed, but that's the only reason Six is following you everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they have made a very good uh, time through thought uh, through all the designs here. Ooh, okay, inscription. So we um, have another inscription. So, you know Emperor's it's... beginning uh, with there's light in there as well. Mm hmm. Words. Words. Light. All right. We learned another word. Um. Oh, that one has to be emperors with the asterisk. Right. I mean the the apostrophe. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. It's a genitive. Emperor's path leads towards light. Okay. Well. No, oh, he was guessing. It's okay, Six. We love you. <laughs> it's fine. That's what we are doing. We are guessing shit. No, we are constructing hypotheses that we then test. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. This is. Uh... Yeah, syntactic markers, you are right. Like, this is really cool that after a while you get a sense of, I mean, the, like the, the grammar. It's not just mm -hmm. words. Yeah, the syntactic markers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It gets a little bit creepy at the end because after a couple of games, you start uh, recognizing the, the icons and the symbols without checking it. Oh, Ooh, really? But I love that. <laughs> At the end, there's a test, and you have to write your own essay in the language of the, yeah, that's of it. the game. That's yeah. it. Oh, a fresco! 
Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the colors. Mm-hmm. I mean, I see the eagle. I see a sun. Yeah, it's like the, uh, is it, what's it called again, the Aten? Yes, it looks like the Just Aten. With the, with the hands coming out of it. Yes, exactly. Brianna, where are you? We need you. Yeah, man. where are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I've learned things on stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wrong one. Okay. All right. Oh, this, this was a giant description. The, wait, wh which one? Wait, you'll see it. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a second. That is, that is giant, yeah. All right, yeah, I recognize emperor, oh, yeah, empires. Uh... Yeah, we don't have enough words no. for this one. So, does the inscription continue to the right? Oh, does it? One second. No, we only have these. We have okay. and mm. we have empires? Question mark. We have is, and we don't even have emperor. Oh, and we have of. So this is another genitive. Oh yeah. But I don't see. It's interesting that the, the genitive goes at the front of the word. Yeah. It's normally, like the, the inflection happens at the end. Huh. I guess it's like in Spanish where you put like the exclamation or the, uh, uh, the the question mark at the beginning yeah. of the sentence as well just to make sure from the very beginning that it's supposed to be read that way mm -hmm. yeah, i don't think it's in the european no. <laughs> that's fair yeah it's that would be uh, a coincidence. it will be yeah that would be a plot twist it would be fantastic okay so mm -hmm. this is a greenhouse Ooh. Ooh. We can't go in the greenhouse, but I wish we could. No, we don't go home. Nobody said to go home. Right, there has to be another way around. Okay, okay, let's keep exploring. Oh, I'm really into this place. Like, I really I do like not this site. What did he say? I do not suppose you are genuinely interested in my opinion? Of course I am. <laughs> Dude. That's passive aggressive. Is that where we came from? This is where we came from, and this is That's where we're going. The, yeah. Okay. You have to go in the greenhouse, chat says. But how? Um... Ma'am. Yeah, maybe there's a way around. Robots are stupid. <laughs> That's the problem. Depends on the robot. Oh, what's this? A knife. Excellent. This game keeps giving me weapons. What? Of course, there's an inscription <laughs> on the weapons. <sighs> okay. 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 I'm absolutely confident. Lol. Okay, let's see if we have anything for this one. I think we do. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. After a while, you do get to, I mean, like certain parts of it, you do start to recognize. Right. So the short ones. Uh, yeah, the short ones. Worry? Right? <laughs> no, war can be happy. War can, war can this, be happy. This, really? <laughs> this is sinister. This is sinister. <laughs> is it swing and be happy? <laughs> Strong and be happy. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um... Okay, it's a knight. Oh, solvable inscriptions. So look at that. Okay. Oh, we have solvable inscriptions. Oh, okay. yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh huh. Okay. That one was sold, I'm guessing. That is path, yeah. Sale for home. Was this okay one? Yeah. Excellent. Are these. Okay. Okay, we have no more solvable inscriptions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there's nothing else on this section. Let's go to the glass house. We need to get in. Maybe not from here. <laughs> Maybe from the other mm -hmm. side? I don't know. I okay. like it a lot, though. Okay. Oh! Maybe we'll have killed the magic, but sometimes it means that you could deal with some tool like a, you know, a diary or somewhere that you can check all your icons, like a like a field notebook or something like that in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like in like in Uncharted. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I mean, you could always like have your own, but then you have to write everything down, but that would be cool. Yes, you can. Like... So, and add an extra layer of authenticity to it. <clears throat> but I do think that this game is like an example of how, I mean, games could deal with this aspect of foreign languages. This is going to sound like a stupid comparison, but I've recently finished the new Lego Star Wars game, and there you have like different, I mean, so, certain alien species speak in a different, I mean, they have a different script, and you can only decipher that if you uh talk to them with like a, a droid character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um actually three three because he knows all the languages but it's in, in theory it's a, it's a cool idea but it's um like every single uh alien character who does that speaks the exact same language i mean it, 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 it's the exact same script so it's no, there's no mm. differentiation there's um uh, even though the sounds are different, for example, but the, the script is still the same. Or, um, for example, if you talk to someone of a specific race with a character who is of that race, you can't talk to them. So you still have to change to see 3 pair for example. So oh, that's shit. really weird. And I think it's it's like a nice idea to have in the game in that game because I don't know of any Star Wars games who do like who who go on a, that aspect of language to 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 that extent. But it's it could have been so much more than what it actually was. And I think something like this, that could really like pave the way or, or change the way mm -hmm. that we do that in games. It's also a lot <clears throat> of work to create a whole new language with grammar. But then again, I think that this, I mean, this game may be like a good, well, not, not pioneer because there, there have been other games that have done it, but like, I can't, whoa, I can't think of any. With like this level of detail, mm -hmm. um, and also not in a in a war like, um, or like fighting like uh, type of game. So yeah, yeah there was a health bar, <laughs> 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 and there's an inscription. Mm -hmm. I will get back to what I was saying, but okay. Yeah, no, it is a huge undertaking. I don't I mean it, it's probably too much to ask for a, a Lego Star Wars game anyway, but it's. <laughs> It it's it's indicative of a larger trend, I think. That mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's it's uh, th 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 there could be more of these th these types of more intellectual puzzles in games than there are at this point, <clears throat> especially in like the the larger, uh, I mean, in the, in the bigger industry. Do you recall more examples of games that developed their own language, sort of? I'm sorry? Hey, can you remember more examples of games that in which there is some development of some language? Just I mean, I I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, there is, I mean, any game that deals with the universe of Tolkien has those languages baked in. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Um, but I... And like, and this is like me being like a very mainstream gamer. I can't think of like any 
other games with their own language right now. I know a scop- like No Man's Sky, for example. No Man's Sky. Because well, oh. oh. you learn words in different languages. I think there's a, three or four languages or something in No Man's Sky that you can learn. Mm. Um, Skyrim kind of has that, like with the the, sh- the dragon shouts, which which are words, but it's not like it's not a grammatical system. I also don't think in No Man's Sky this is its own grammatical system. It's just words that you learn. Mm. Um, are there other examples? Can we do something with this tree? Can we climb the tree? Can we touch the tree? <laughs> if only you had that axe. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but you said it for me. One time. <laughs> Just one time, give me an axe. One... <laughs> I would not. I'm actually not fond of like chopping things down. Like people no. and, and doors, yes, but like uh, trees, mm. not really. Oh, the uh, 2018 God of War has sort of like a language decipherment thing. Uh, but it felt like its own language, I, I would say. Like the, the Muspelheim uh, mm-hmm. language that you need to learn. I mean, learn. I mean, that you decipher with your Atreus. Atreus. But other examples of like completely new languages in games oh if anyone in the chat knows but... oh he doesn't know what butterflies are oh this is so precious oh, oh <laughs> they're ugly as fuck but they're you know <laughs> i mean if you look at them real close i'm sure they look beautiful to each other just you know they look beautiful to me too i mean <laughs> what is what the, why are they ugly have you ever seen the face of a butterfly up close you don't have to look at them up close they're they're yeah yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Finally, distance benefits them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we uh, live forever. We will. Could be anything. Well, it has to be. It has to be a verb, right? Yeah. But cannot or must or will are very different. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Huh. Ooh, I, I if will is probably it, like with here. Uh, I mean, it, it... I d- oh, I don't see on, anything man. that is in the words with negations. Yeah, that's true. So maybe um, will. But if you look at if you look at can, it all it's also followed by a dot and those two things, and that's a, like a model verb. Oh, so maybe we cannot. No, then it's either must or will, because those two are model okay. verbs. I mean, cannot is also, but that one right, is negated. Right, right. Uh, no, um. <laughs> I don't think it's cannot. I think that the negative would be a, a different, uh, what do you call that? A grapheme or something? Yeah, that's fair. But it, it should be a model, so must or, but we must live forever. That's That's, that's intense. Let's go for yeah. intense. All right. We must live forever. I mean, it's something that an emperor would say, probably. On a tree trunk. <laughs> right. Oh, we have something solvable? All right. Really? <clears throat> oh, this one is solved. Okay. We got it. It was, uh, it was we must? Or, uh, no, 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 it's it. another one. Yeah, Wait yeah, one okay. second. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so forever is also with the circles. So mm-hmm. does that mean it's will because it's like the future? Uh, it may be. But home was also with that. And that's the present. Uh, let's try with will. We will live forever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because here... Right. What are the related words that we have? Can here and sail. Maybe it is cannot. Maybe because it, is it, cannot, has, it, it does have the, the dot and the two things. So maybe. Right. But I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. One second. 
Okay, you still wouldn't start with this. It's just uh, using the word that I thought would need more in the future. So in case it's not, at least I have a, a dismissal. Or if it is, yeah, I have will, but it's very useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Teach. Um, yeah. Yeah. I Just guess and move on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that's yes, yes. quite yeah. the best. Yeah. I mean, okay. we care, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that's it. That's fine. That's we, okay. We we can't know at this. Yeah. Point. No. No. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh. All right. I think we've done m most of the the greenhouse. I think. Oh, what is this? Of course, there's an inscription. <laughs> okay. And what is it? Oh, this one's long. Like okay, it. okay. Okay. Can't see it yet. Oh, you all. Oh, yeah, wow, well, okay. If the words with circle have to do with time. Tomorrow, then? Yeah. Yeah. But home was also with circle, so I don't know. But, but this it's, one has but it's not confirmed. Circles. Yeah, it's our theory. Right. Now for... Uh, You'll see. Sleep now, work for tomorrow, is that it? Yeah, <laughs> I mean... I'm trying. Work. Uh, sleep now for tomorrow, you work. I mean, if it works. That it makes sense, right? It makes. And what is what is the object? What what is it? Hear me. Question. It's a sundial. It's a su oh. Yeah, yeah. Two suns. There appears to be a sun, or at least a star, which is interesting because, like, even in in, in another universe, but they they call it a sun, so they have the the very terrest terrestrial. Definition of a star. Yeah. Right? True. It should be a star dial. Anyways. But I, I digress. Mean, that's, that, that's like, I mean, <laughs> we're in another universe and on different planets, but they're all speaking English as well. So. Well, yes, and they're, and they're yeah, wearing I the mean, archaeology attire. Yeah. <laughs> and they are very human. Yes. Yeah. All of the, the aliens are anthropomorphic. Um. It's safe, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll see. No, you have lost ropes before. <laughs> oh my god. This is like a very toxic relationship. It is, it is. Can we crash the robot? <laughs> Does it happen? Okay. We, oh, right. <laughs> That's an ultimatum. Also, I like that this is, uh, oh, wait. Shrines. Oh, like the ones we found. At the place. Yep. Mm hmm Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, typology. <laughs> oh, but the other door is open. Let's go to the other door. Wait. I like how accessible this is for, like, humans and robots or humans on, like, wheelchairs. There's like the two ramps on the on the stairs. You'll see them in a second. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, these are markers of what? Right? Good question. Ritual, of course. 
<laughs> but... Uh, that uh, should have been the title of the stream. It's Ritual. It's Ritual. It's the title of every stream, so... <laughs> Everything. Okay. <laughs> the rest? Ooh. Ooh. Home or... Uh, so it is... Home. Safely? Uh, or home here? Is supposed to be safe. But like here is like the the locative, and home is a place. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, but it's it's like it basically it's me plus home plus that one. So it, maybe it's mine. Mm. It's the exact same thing as me, but then with the one in front of it, like the the. Oh right, huh. Huh, so many, so many questions. Okay, yeah, one second. Let's see. Ah, my foot but is dead. Wouldn't my be like the genitive of me? So, like, with yeah, the, it, would, it would have the, the, the little apostrophe, yeah, would that rest be mine? here and oh, and return alive soon, rest here and return alive. Maybe soon, because the circles are like the time. Uh, because time is a circle. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I I'm feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, is it, what is the TV show called again? Um, uh, the Good Place, where time is... Uh, oh yeah, yes. In the, what is the word again? Jeremy bury me or something? It's it's uh I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I I I know what you're saying. Okay, stone yeah. marker. Uh, just give me the fucking prompt. Okay. This one isn't carved, but there's something inside the niche. Ooh. Yeah, Jeremy bury me. That's what it is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Louise. Thank you. <laughs> of course, there's another inscription. Okay, okay, we're more confident now. Yeah. Okay. So these are. Oh no! Wait, hang on. The end of a long piece of text. Uh... Okay, cannot... that's not cannot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, so that is the one that we. Yeah. All right. That so... was the one that was on the earlier. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So it has to be must or will. Yeah, but right. I think it's will because if the if the loop is time, then will is the only one that has time in it, right? Time is baked in the verb because it's a future. True, but must also implies something that has still has to happen. That's fair. Uh, this one we don't fucking know. No, will be. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> okay, Wait, this what? one. Can you see that one again? The first one. Sure. One second. Um. Mm. So that's with the beginning of, of here. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. This one we need we need to just guess it like okay. Yeah. I don't think it would be wind. Maybe yeah, the, maybe the entrance. Maybe story. I don't know. Like because it's. Uh. Oh, if it's about memory, you're thinking. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Okay. Like story will be, and then what was the end? Deception or something? Or found? Told? Or found? Told? Oh yeah. Right, because there's the 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 two winner things of the of prey. So maybe. Uh yeah I'm, yeah all right that's fair. Let's story go. will be told. Right. Okay. Let's keep going. Looted? Maybe. Or left that way. Wait, let's see if we have any solvable inscriptions. Nope. Okay. Nope. Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. I said goodbye. Um. Okay, so this we've done. There's another one here. Stone marker. Wow. Six, sir. Gone. Mm-hmm. 
He got fed up. He <laughs> was like, yeah, whatever. Hmm. This one. It's readable. Uh huh. Here rests. <sighs> but that one also had the, the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. So would it be my? Oh, you're right. Wait. Here rests my heart. Oh, that would be fucking sad, man. Yeah, because, like, heart is one part of me. <laughs> oh, my God. I was thinking exactly the same for people, me, I belong to. Oh, yeah. yeah. To. It wouldn't... It would... Yeah, I don't know. So it is a monument. Oof. I have finished my researches. My conclusions are worthless. This is how. <laughs> this, this, is, this is me. This is every this is a PhD, PhD dissertation. <laughs> <laughs> I have exactly. finished my research. My results are worthless. <laughs> now I have a title for my thesis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, there's shit on top of this one. You'll see it in a second. It's made of different. It's different. Older stone. And there's something on top. Uh huh. A brooch. A hoop. Oh. Ominous. Yeah. Nah. I fake that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shit, son. That's a ooh, that's a long one. Yeah. Um uh, We uh, 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 Sing because it's related to pretty. Right. And told. And told or speak. Or speak, speak could also be, yeah. Okay, we speak. For yeah, we... those, uh, yeah, who have? Oh, yeah, it's like oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm telling you. What? I'm telling you. Huh? Uh, wait, wait. Oh, you speak for those who have no. That does make sense. Dramatically. Oh my god, we speak for those who have no voices. Is this a slave's cemetery? Yeah. Or is it the record, you know? But this is an older one, she uh, said. Well. Uh huh. I must give the credit to the. Metal of hoops? Mm -hmm. So are those like chains then or something? It could be. Could be. I like it because in this game originally you you I, I started asking myself these kind of questions which are quite historical and I see you guys and you are exactly asking the kind of questions that you make when you are <laughs> right? right yeah I feel like <laughs> yeah but that that's just what's so great about this is like you you are prompted to think about these things yeah and in like, um, very much in terms of archaeology it's like yeah, what does like, this mean this is not something that Assassin's Creed would uh, ever be able to do, for example. Fair. Actually, the easiest thing in AC is to ignore most of everything around you. It is, and that's the the bad part of it. Yeah. yeah. It I also mean... says you humans have no eyes. He said that. So... Ironic coming from an avatar. Mm -mm. We ain't returning to shit, dude. We're just... Stop asking.
Oh, oh, the air is getting thinner. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you? Chat says go down, not up. <laughs> Too late. For your life. Too late. Well, I can't move, so. Oh yeah. I don't remember dying in this game. Has anyone died? <laughs> Has anyone died in this game? Is it possible to crash the ship and die? Kate just discovered the death function in this game. <laughs> I cracked the game. Years without anyone dying and now Kate is going to be the first one. <laughs> I expect my paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hidden feature. Yeah. The Easter egg. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Right, no great tombs or mausoleums. Oh, yeah, the graves are simple, so that does yeah. reinforce your. Yeah, I told you. Hypothesis. I told you. <laughs> also, those who have no voices. <laughs> Julie, Julie says Kate finds a way to die and then comes back with an axe. <laughs> if only! If only! <laughs> That's what we call transgressive play, but okay. Exactly. <laughs> Oh shit, we had missed a, a whole ass inscription. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. I love that for us. Okay. Um, One end of a broken fragment. Okay. Dale. Will. Oh no, it's not hard. It's who. Oh, then maybe the other one was not heart. It was people. Because the, the new be, yeah. is the people, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, you, you know what I'm <laughs> saying. I love how you're trying to pronounce it. <laughs> you're trying the to new? speak the language. Yeah. To the developer's amusement. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, sale will. Why oh, Sanya was here? And I. Uh, the chat says go back up and check the top markers. Okay. She's trying. So this is not <laughs> end. Like, like Korean, she's trying to make the shape with her mouth. <laughs> There's always more I don't understand. That's that's me. That's me with my with my PhD. I also come from a, a phonetic language, so mm. in Italian we write letters, we pronounce letters. Mm. Same here. Yeah, I can't say we do that. Oh my god, yeah, you guys don't do that. <laughs> nah, I mean, we, we're not as bad as French, but still. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't see the prompt before, that's why. Mm -hmm. These are new. And better condition in those below. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is powered. Ooh, let's touch the other one. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to die? Yes. <laughs> That's gonna be like a special team achievement. <laughs> <laughs> This is quite powerless. Okay. <coughs> but if we put the thing on top of the thing, right? Give me the prompt. Give me the prompt. Yes. All right. Is it going to explode? Is it going to explode? <laughs> mm, no. Okay. Stop trying to make it violent. <laughs> <laughs> But if it's a powered rock... Let's place the hoop. What about the hoop? Did you pick it up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. The hoop and the figurine. Is it oh. going to explode? And then... 
Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is cool. Okay. Folk with the voice of a child. Oh. Who are you? Uh, uh, no. Should have killed you for that. I like this one. Okay, so this this one's angry. Okay. I will have I will have you eat your eyes. Well. Okay. Okay. The orangery? Orangery? Uh Is there any native English speaker here? <laughs> <laughs> Above the Withering Palace? Well, that's that's helpful. Ma'am, you're dead. A greenhouse with orange trees. Oh, yeah. We need more power. Unlimited oh. power. Exactly. I'm taking the figuring. I'm also taking the thing on top. It's orangery, apparently. Okay. No, I don't want to touch the marker. I want to take the the thing. Oh, thank you. We're taking this. Yeah, we are. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> It's intriguing, though. It is. It is. Okay. No, we ain't going yet. Jesus. Is it a ghost if it's a robot? Oh, there's a downstairs. The mm -hmm. ghost was royalty. Right, right. Oh, yeah. But I don't, I don't. So. <laughs> You speak for those who have no voice, but the voice is the only thing the robot has, if it's a disembodied head. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, we will live forever, that's the one that, yeah, because it's... Right, right. Let's not die. Emperor voices live forever. So wait, the, the emperor? So, emperor's... Uh -huh. Emperor's voice live forever. lives forever. Uh, uh -huh. so we have that. Oh, the withering, the withering palace. In the withering palace, that's what it is. I mean, they mentioned the with the withering palace. Yeah, yeah. Right, and also the dead have no voices. So yeah, these are tombs, and these yeah. are their their their. Okay, well, not, like their that. Cenotaphs. So yeah, yeah, so the the 
that have no vo- okay that way but it's a robot yeah, yeah okay I, I i i get it uh, what if the robots whatever i had a very dark thought spill it <laughs> i had a very very dark thought. What, if, what if they what if they put the dead in the robots like the the consciousness oh. of the dead, they clean them and they upload them to the robots don't have, don't don't even don't even um so it's like yeah the consciousness is uploaded to <laughs> yeah yeah and then I mean, it is a good move for a graveyard. I I agree. I mean, for a graveyard, it, it, it looks pretty lush. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Asking the real questions here. <clears throat> Oh, so she can date the recording. Mm -hmm. What happens when you have a PhD? Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're specialized. Can you date it? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we can't go this way. That's oh shite. If you're watching this in delay and you're just hearing Kate scream and you're just yeah. standing still on screen, it's just like, okay, what is? It? Okay, now I see it. <laughs> I made I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I made mistakes. Okay, mistakes were made. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think we have. But we've we have new places to explore. How how yeah. long have we been streaming for? I have lost the concept of time and space. Yeah. So chat says all done here basically, and we have okay. been streaming for two hours fifteen minutes. That's excellent. Um, let's see if we have solvable inscriptions, maybe, and call it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. This is uh this took this took a turn. I love this um graveyard setting. Yeah, it's a very unexpected way. I mean, un unexpected appearance for a graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Immortality of a kind. Huh. Solvable. Let's go. Okay. 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 So we have me. We have Will. We have Sail. Okay, we got we got that right. Mm -hmm. I will sail again. Uh, yeah. Right? Because it's... So the circle is time, I, I think? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we were also talking about loop religion mm -hmm. or something. Exactly. So, yeah. That was my guess. Mm -hmm. Circle is looping time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will this feel one again. was right. We will live forever. All right. Oh, yeah. Emperor's voice lives forever in the withering. Oh, so it's not emperors? Oh, so it's not emperors. Okay. Oh. Gods? Right. How is it not emperors? Well. It is. Are they synonyms? God. Right. Well, if the emperor is holy, then. Oh, is this unsolved? Oh, 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 all right. We solved all, all the ones that we oh, solved. Oh, Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. It has to be emperors. Yeah. So what did we... Um... What did we learn? <laughs> what did we learn? Nothing. <laughs> uh, well, we know that there's a withering palace. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that this is a good place to stop. Yeah. For today. Yeah, we solved a lot of inscriptions. We solved a lot of inscriptions. We, we actually went... we actually made yeah. sense. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to, we were starting to get a hang of it of the language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Like it was um it was something to behold. Mm -hmm. So we talked about 
epigraphy in games, we talked about archaeology, we talked about violence. Yes, uh, well, and... always <laughs> violence, it's important. We, some of us dreamed about violence. Some, um... some of us almost died, you know, some of us, I'm just <laughs> saying. Um, so, uh, uh, David, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, bearing for being with us. Here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching us struggle. Yeah, dealing, um, dealing with us being absolutely um, not, <laughs> not, not not rational at all, uh, and me wanting to break things. Um, and for your, uh, you know, for your considerations about the game, because I went in knowing nothing about it. So it's always a pleasure when there's someone who has like a better yeah. grasp of what the game is about and how it works. It was um, actually my pleasure watching you fight against it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, uh, and, thank uh, you, chat. Yeah. For for you know for being for being active and telling things. Um, for guiding us. Yes, yes, uh, and and trying to keep me from axing everything. I'm just saying, they give me weapons and then I can't use them. I think that's, I think that's, you know, preposterous, but okay. Preposterous. Um, it's preposterous, but we'll deal with that. Um, yeah, so next week we will be back um, at 2 p.m., usual time. Yeah, our usual time. Yeah. Um, one question that I have for chat, which I cannot see right now, is how much how l much longer do we have in terms of plot for this game? Because I don't, or like David, how much, how much more is there to, to do in terms of hours? Do you think? Oof. I was thinking based on my own recollections that you are quite close to 50%, but of course that depends on the experience of gaming that you, that you make, because you can go quite straightforward mm. if you want. Mm -mm. So, I do want to finish, say, Julie, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh, because, yeah. like, we, we're trying to wrap this up in a few more, in two weeks. Um, so I was thinking if if maybe we, we will have to, to stream for longer next time to get more, you know. It wouldn't be surprising, no, because, I mean, I'm thinking that two more streams is, like, four hours, roughly. In theory. Yeah. I mean, closer yeah. to five hours. Mm -hmm. Knowing us. Yeah, but we can just we can see how long, mm -hmm. uh, how, how, how far we get, and at the, maybe in the last one we can indeed we can stream for longer. Um, Fair enough. So, have we already announced the guests for next week, the next two weeks? Uh no, we haven't. Please do the honors. We haven't. All right. So, uh, next exciting. week, very exciting. We are. I don't know if you've been checking Twitter at all. Um, if you've been checking. <laughs> At all, I said, not y'all. No, I'm saying y'all because I <laughs> have, right. I have checked. All right, yeah, you have checked. But there's been this amazing book that came out this week called "Women in Historical and Archaeological Video Games," uh, and so next week we are going to have the editor of that book, Dr. Jane Drake, uh, with us, oh, who is going yeah. to be talking about uh, Aaliyah and how she uh, is portrayed in the game. And then for our finale, we are going to have to two people in the chat. <laughs> We're going to have Julie <laughs> Levy and uh, Nerdy Archer, Louise Chase, uh, for our uh, series, but also season finale. And then we're going to wrap it up and then we'll take a break over the summer and we'll come back in September. So we're looking forward uh, to our two final episodes. Uh, and we're, we're hoping that you can all join us uh, again. So if you have any questions about the book that is uh, that has been recently been released, I really suggest you come next week and you ask them to our uh, wonderful guest. So all right, uh, I think at this point we can uh, yeah we can, we can it call up. it yeah. So thanks everyone. <laughs> and, uh, thanks again, David, for 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 coming and and hanging with us um, yeah. through through weird things. Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you, Chad. And we will see you all next week, um, 2 p.m. regular time this time. This was the the one off. Yeah. Uh, and have a good weekend. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>